Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the view. These are the points that we are going to cover in this video. So first of all we will learn the theory of view, then uh, how we can create a view, then we can call with the routing and controller and how we can pass the data from the controller and all the things and then how we can uh, conditionally render the view. Alright, so now let's uh, start with the uh, first question is the, what is the view so view is the uh, actually the layer that user can actually see so basically you can see that this is the view layer all right so it includes the html part and the styling part and all the front end development part you can see that all right and this is connected directly or you can connect it with the uh, controller also all right so for example if you want to see this file this is the view file then you can just go inside the uh, resources folder and view folder and then open the welcome.php file all right so here you will see that this is all about the view part and this is the uh, view screen also so uh, this is the uh, i think uh, enough for the theory part let's say if you want to try to change with that then you can change all right so now let's how we can create the new so for that you have to go inside the resource part and view part here you can just click on the folder and create so let's say you want to create with the users uh, views uh, recommendation with the laravel you can create with the starting the lower word so there is a no cap captions in the views so just users dot blade dot php all right blade is extension of the laravel so you have to use it or it's actually optional also so all right so this is the file that you all created so first of all if you want if you want to create with some data then you can create the html part then you can create a header and then you can if you want to create the body part also this is also fine all right so just put here title And in the title, you can see this uh, user info. All right, that's nice. In the body part, you can just take some data. Let's say uh, data will be placed here. All right. So now uh, you made a view. Now how you can see this? Okay, for that there is a two way. You can render it with the controller, and you can render it with the directly routings all right so in the f i will show you the both way but first of all i am just going to show you that how you can call it with the routings okay so two parts are completed now just go for the third part for that you have to go inside the routers and click on the web.php file here you can see that already two controllers are made one uh two routers is a made one for the view and another for the controller and if you don't know how you can create the controller you can watch our previous video link is given in the description box so first of all i'm just going to open this page so that i'm just going to replace it with the uh, view to the user all right just right here user simply it's a users and let's see now you can see that this is the title user info and all these things are here which we provide a right uh, written inside the user file all right okay so now uh, there is a simple way to call the user also if if you just want to click here that welcome is fine here so just write here router route with the colon and just you can put here directly view and in the view this uh, you can put here users your path name and and the second parameter for your uh, uh, view name is this is also user users and just put the semicolon and if you just put here users then see then this is also the same place so this is a little bit easier syntax as compared to the this all right okay fine now uh, let's go with the another point then how you can pass the uh, do it with uh, call with the controller so this is my controller which I created in the previous video as I told you the link is given in the description box if you don't know about that. So I'm just going to remove this for now and uh, just go to the YouTube uh, controller and this is placed inside the app 
HTTP controller and YouTube all right okay so if you want to see this you can directly hit this URL all right so just place here YouTube and you can see that control is created this message is returned here okay so now uh, just comment it and you can call a view simply here just call a view function here and inside the view first parameter is the URL that you want to put or you can directly call the view part so you don't need to uh, put here uh, URL because the return view and you can just put here user simply and now let's see what's going on now, now you can see that you got the view here and now if you want to access some data then you can pass the data here so let's say you want to pass the data and inside the data you can just put the name Peter okay so let's say you want to pass a name this is uh, looking nice so now inside this file uh, you can just put here h2 tag and uh, just use dollar name variable and let's see now you can see that you got the Peter here all right this is the blade blade template uh, format and uh, in the upcoming video I will tell you all about the blade template but now that's enough and if you don't want to familiar uh, do, don't want to use this for now then you can just simply use the PHP tag and just use the echo dollar name this is also will be work all right this is same okay so now uh, the last thing is that we pass the data with all these things now how we can use the conditional render maybe you want to put a conditional um, basis on the data or anything else that uh, if a user is coming a then you have to pass uh, something else and else all right so for that let's make a condition for that you have to use uh, uh, illustrator namespace here for that just write here use illustrate eliminate and support Packet all right and at the last you can just put the view here all right just put semicolon and it will provide the lots of functionality for let's say you want to call it conditionally then you can just check here okay if view colon exists exists your uh, uh, view name then you can just put here view name which is a users then you can call something like uh, just return the same all right else if you if you this is not then you can make a one more controller so let's say very quickly make a one more controller the user you can just put here settings let's see dot blade dot php all right so i'll just hit the enter and you can just simply copy here and put here you only to put second tag and you can just put here setting view alright so now just come back to your controller and you can just simply render here conditional view with the name of uh, setting settings alright and just remove the second parameter because we don't we are not going to pass the data here so now you can see that it will going to render but uh, let's say if you want to just try with a user this is not exist the uh, view because we don't have this the view with the same name then you can see that there is a setting view this is the you can say that the conditional rendering is happened here all right uh, that uh, in this the same case you can check that your view is exist or not if your view is not exist then you can use some um, another view also 
so like you want to show the four, 404 page and all okay so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel and thanks for watching this